Hello, my crafty friends. It's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Craft, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. This little guy right here was the jumping off point for my card idea for today. Um, so we're going to use him with one of the layering circles dies. Um, and I've already actually got it loaded up into my mini embossing machine. Um, the layering circles dies has scalloped and straight edges. I'm using the straight edges today. Plus, I have got some early espresso cardstock. Haven't decided fully if I'm going to use that yet. Um, I'm using a crumb cake base, and I've got I've already cut out some circles from the He's the Man designer series paper, and also the brush strokes paper, which are both available in the new catalog starting May the third. Um, I love this paper. It's kind of got a satiny sheen to it and just a little bit of a um, texture pattern. It's white on one side, so no worries for which side you're going to use. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the last thing that I have to do for this card um, is cut out my circle on crumb cake. Now I'm using the mini um, embossing or cut and emboss machine. I love this little guy. I've been using it a ton since I got it. Now, I'm just going to roll our circle through. Don't worry if it cracks. It's just the um, cutting portion of the die working. And it will place patterns on your cutting surface. Um, but again, it doesn't mar how it's working. So, I'm going to st stick these back in the package. Because I don't know what it's like in your craft room. But in my craft room, the dies tend to migrate quickly and easily. So we're just going to stick them there. Um, I'm going to be stamping with early espresso ink. And what else? I think that will be about it. Close this guy up. Put it on the floor. I love that thing. It is so quick and easy to use. Okay, here we go. Now, I've got, as I mentioned, um, I cut out some circles already, different patterns. Um, I've only got one of that one because I was using a bit bigger of a circle, plus our crumb cake. So we're gonna ink this guy up first, and I actually have an idea. My hands aren't being very cooperative today, so we'll see how this turns out. Okay, ink up our pelican, I think. Well, I'll say pelican. That's I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll just stamp him down there. And then I'm just going to take our ink, just kind of wave it around for a quick second, and then I'm just going to roll it in the ink just to give the edge a tiny bit of definition. And then I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of color with early espresso. So we're just gonna kinda add a bit to the ropes. Not much. I really like the look of this stamp, uncolored. And then we're going to do a tiny little bit of white on our pelican. Just the slightest little bit of hint of color. Our pel yeah, pelicans are white. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've seen one. They should be back though. We live in an area called the Interlake. So we're between Lake Manitoba and Lake Winnipeg. Um, and right now everything around us is a lake because the snow is melting and we're getting a ton of rain. Um... But regularly, not so much at my house, but regularly at my parents' house, we see pelicans circling. Because they're closer to one of the lakes than we are. Okay, just a little hint of yellow, a little hint of yellow. Okay, so he's done. Now we're just going to start our assembly. And I think... You know what? I think we are going to add the strip of early espresso. So I'm going to cut it down to the width of my card, which is four and a quarter. I 
And I am so excited that the uh, stamp and seal adhesive is back in stock. I should be getting it early next week so I can go back to using that on my cards. But in the meantime, we'll use what we've got. Okay, so make sure it opens the right way. Although it wouldn't be the first time I put a card together backwards. Okay, now I'm just gonna add circles kind of randomly. Actually, you know what, we're gonna do that. Randomly with a plan, is that even a thing? I don't know, we'll say it is. I'll stick that guy there and then we'll put This one. Oops. Is that? Yeah, I think that's in a good spot. I love this He's the Man paper. It's got a lot of really cool, fun textures um, and patterns. It's got the tweed, it's got a little bit of a little bit of everything so if I do that one there put this one up here this one is gonna go down here so one two three four five six and I do need this one to make number seven actually I'm gonna stick this on and then I'll put this other piece of brush stroke paper and see where we get. Okay, I just noticed that there's a little splotch on my paper, so I will fix that. There we go. With these guys. So these are the classic matte dots. Um, I think I'll use black. Or maybe very vanilla. Actually, very vanilla. It's not a color that gets a whole lot of play usually for embellishments. So add that over the splotch that I just noticed. I'll add another few. Two. And this card is going to get. I wasn't going to put a sentiment on it, but I think I am. We will do uh, You're Totally Awesome or Your Strength. Actually, you know what? Let's just do hmm. Yeah, let's just do Happy Birthday. Choices, choices. Okay. Where'd my pad go? Oh my goodness. Under the paper, of course. can't believe that it's almost the end of the month. Time is whipping by. Okay, and then I could have used a bigger stamp pad, but, or ink block, nope, stamp block. Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? I'm not loving where this is placed, so... Grab your take your pick tool. Some disassembly required. Now we'll just stick this. Oops. There. Um, if you don't have a take your pick tool and you do put your, um, if you don't, Put something where you don't want it. You can always do the same thing with some gentle floss. Just take it and run it underneath and it'll pull it right up. And I think I'm gonna move this a little bit over. And then take 
take this one and move it up. Oh, please don't rip. 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 Okay, thank you. Yes, I talk to my paper on occasion. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, I like that a little bit better. Yep, yep. All right. So, there's our card finished. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified every single time a new video comes up. And I've just started something brand new with my email. Um, every week you will get a free tutorial. So be sure to sign up for that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you soon.